Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von L.A. Noir. Die meisten Schützen hier werden erledigt. Hast du eigentlich irgendwas Interessantes für mich? Ja, ein neues MG. LAPD, hands up! Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one person. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Alles klar. Da haben wir leider doch einen Hinweis übersehen, aber im Großen und Ganzen doch gut funktioniert. Sehr schön. Und noch ein paar Errungenschaften abgestaubt. Ja, ich glaube, wie gesagt, so langsam kommen die Fälle, die ich noch nicht selber gespielt habe, die ich mir damals nur angeschaut hatte. Mal gucken, wie gut ich mich daran dann erinnern kann. Auf geht's zum nächsten Fall. Your platoon is what remains of Recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Asakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Thanks for your sandwich, buddy. Corn beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. 
You'll like this fight, though. A plucky lime is about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. Hey, können wir da mal bitte hin? What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you're out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. <laughs> Na gut, dann schauen wir uns mal um. Ein Boxhandschuh mitnehmen. Doesn't look like anything. Mm. Jetzt sollen wir wirklich erstmal mit dem äh da haben wir ihn doch. Ah. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Interessant. Da haben wir noch ein bisschen ja. Klebeband zum Festmachen. Also für die Hände. Okay, ich glaube, das war dann hier drin auch alles. Noch Toilette benutzen. Na gut, Duschen sind auch da. Und da, ach, warte mal, hier war... Ach, guck mal, hier ist noch eine Zeitung. Ich dachte nämlich gerade, irgendwas war doch noch hier. Na dann. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reason. For short-term gain. We came home from China. On the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Like we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. 
I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. Na, sieh mal einer an. So, noch eine Zeitung mitgenommen. Wird die noch alle zusammenkriegen? Ich weiß ja nicht. Gut. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh... Met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Hm. Wollte ich nicht. Tut mir leid. So, dann rufen wir schnell an. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Okay. Klingt äh, romantisch. Fahren wir doch da direkt mal hin. Oder beziehungsweise lassen wir uns da direkt mal hinfahren. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Where are we going? Ab zum Hotel, würde ich mal sagen. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, Detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Hm. 
Dann äh, fragen wir doch mal nach. LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Dann schauen wir doch mal. Hey, fuck you. Uh, da hinten. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. <lacht> I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Das sagt mal nix. Oh, Humphrey Bogart. Winston Churchill, da. Uh, Der Humphrey Bogart ist ja Engländer. <lacht> Bob Hope, Marilyn Monroe. Ah ja, guck mal, Harpo Marx von den Marx Brothers. Clark Gable. Ja, ein paar Leute kennt man. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Gut, schauen wir doch mal nach. Ob wir ihn finden. Skeleton goes into a bar and orders a few doors unlocked. Mm. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Did it was? Hm. Na gut, dann schauen wir doch mal nach. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Stimmt, ist echt lange her. Hm. Ah ja, auch hier wieder Soup Company. Hm. Das ist nix. Was haben wir denn hier? Ach, guck mal. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who is Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Ach, deswegen wahrscheinlich hier mit dem Kind. Da haben wir, äh, Kind, äh, Frau. Ich hoffe doch mal, dass es eine Frau war und kein Kind. Hm? Kino wäre tatsächlich mal wieder was. Oh. Das stimmt allerdings. Na, tolle Wurst. Hm. He must be heading home. You know I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. <lacht> Tja, das ist halt das Problem, wenn du ein abgehörtes Spiel, äh, wenn du darauf wettest, es kommt halt immer mal vor, dass die sich dann doch anders entscheiden, die Boxer. Like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Ah, ist klar, wenn die wenn alle auf den anderen setzen, weil die wissen, dass der wohl angeblich gewinnen soll, kannst du mit einem überraschenden Sieg äh, eine Menge Geld rausholen. Ich glaube, das dürften alle gewesen sein. Zumindest als wir hier in dem Zimmer mitnehmen können. Wer bist du? Niem Niemand, mit dem wir reden können. Okay. Gut, dann rufen wir mal kurz nochmal an. Moment. Geht das hier nicht? Nee. Haben wir hier irgendwo ein Telefon rumhängen? Oder vielleicht reizt wenn wir einsteigen? Hammond ist über der Hill. Er ist ein Punching-Bag für die Up-and-Commers. Sie weiß, wo das goddamn Ort ist. 
I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think. Ah, oh, sorry. You know the way. You can drive. Start right. jetzt noch mal. Ich wollte ihn ja fahren lassen. So, you box in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Jo, das schauen wir uns in der nächsten Folge mal an. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß. Seid dann beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei. Und bis dahin, macht's gut und ciao, ciao.